This is Dr. Charmaine Gregory, and this is the Nocturnist Diary. I am out and about in the daytime, yes. As you can see, the sunlight is coming through the window. I'm in the car because I am right now watching the kids as they do karate and um, uh, getting uh, some stuff done at the same time. So I just wanted to get on and talk with you about the third uh, episode or the third item that we're going to be discussing in this series. And the series is the Night Shift Moms Pearls and Tips for Greatness. And basically, today I just want to talk about the fact that don't we need not to be afraid to ask for help. And it is such a difficult thing for a lot of us to do because, you know, we are strong women, we are moms, we are aunts, we are sisters, we are daughters, and we work, we do things we for others all the time. And so for us to ask for help, it seems like a tremendous task. But honestly, in order for us to have success, in order for us to be able to be able to find that time that we discussed in the previous episode, the two percent um, of your twenty-four hours, and making a fortress around that particular time, making it a sacred, sacred space for you, in order for you to focus on your wellness. So we talked in the last episode about ways in which you can do that. So I talked about you know possibly doing meditation, you can do meditation and movement, you can do movement exclusively, you could potentially do um, reading or um, listening. So whatever you decide to do, the whole thing is how can you not only carve that time out, but have that time be protected? Well, the way that you can do it is you can identify the members of your team. So who are those people that are on your team? So it may be your babysitter, who's going to come over and um, take a look at your children while you have that half an hour. Or it may be your parent or parents. It may be your spouse. It may be a good friend. It may be the neighbor. So it's just identifying the people on your team and then approaching them and letting them know what your plan is. So hopefully by now you would have planned out when on your schedule this week you're going to be taking that half an hour time to dedicate to yourself and you can sit down with your team and say hey hey team this is what I'm trying to do and I'm trying to you know do my meditation for these 30 minutes on Monday Wednesday Friday is there any way you can help me to secure that and so that way you get buy-in from the members of your team and you know no one is going to answer a question yes for you unless you ask, unless you ask a question. So one of the things that my husband always says is the answer is always no if you don't ask, which is exactly what will happen. So when you sit your team down, thanks Angie, thanks for joining. When you sit your team down and you discuss with them what your plan is and everyone gives you get some buy-in, then you'd be surprised at how you can creatively figure out how we can make sure that you get the 30 minutes of your of care time that's going to help you to be better that's going to help you to be stronger that's going to help you to be a better wife mom worker etc hey tt thanks for joining so you know th those were the that's the main thing so identifying your team members sitting down with them and talking with them about what your plan is and your your goals and your schedule and then getting buy-in so that they can help protect that time for you so that you can secure those 30 minutes to dedicate to your self-care it's so important, and um, I'm sure that everyone on your team who cares about you will be more than willing to do whatever it takes to ensure that you are happy and that you are thriving, all right? So don't be superhuman. Don't pretend to be a superwoman because there is no such thing. There are no superhumans. We work together. We build together. We uplift together. We rise together. That's just the bottom line. So I hope that this was helpful to you. This is, um, again, like I said, the third in the series this week. And um, look forward to tomorrow's uh, discussion. And I hope that you will be strong, be brave, and unleash your greatness. This is Dr. Charmaine Gregory, and this is an Nocturnist Diary. Have an amazing day.